If you followed along with us last week, you know we started our barbecue trip across Texas. We visited Caddo Lake, then headed to Austin and San Antonio. This week we're heading to our 31st and 32nd National Parks, Big Bend and Guadalupe Mountains. Be sure to stay to the end to see our big time sponsor. C.S. Lewis said, you're never too old to set another goal or dream a new dream. We're John and Bev, and after a lifetime of hard work, our retirement goal is to travel the world and finish our lives with many memories we've made along the way. We are the Retirement Travelers. Come along as we travel the world on this crazy retirement adventure. So we've been driving across Texas. We're in West Texas right now at the Judge Roy Bean Museum. This is the town that I have heard about all my life. Um, my maiden name is Bean. Anyway, I know a lot about him. He was a hoodlum, actually, <laughs> but he was a judge in this little town. He's called the Law West of the Pecos. Let's go. Come and see the crooks and thieves rioting the renegade streets Working for the devil's deed, the torture the work is done The Savior comes to save the weak, the lame man walks, the blind man sees The inner land where no one's free, they know that the day will come Shadows rise, step out of the darkness and into the light yeah, calling the heathens, outlaws and sinners, start marching, start walking, swindlers and dealers, liars and cheaters, start running, the day's coming, calling the heathens. Wow, I can't believe I'm in here. Yeah. I've heard about this place so much. That's so cool. We're in the big place. You could, get yeah. a drink. you could get a drink here. You could get a drink here and have court. Yeah. He held court here. Guilty. <laughs> he took all the money in your pocket. Well, I've always wanted to come here. Yep. This is what retirement travel is all about. It is. This is way better than taking the interstate across. Yeah, take the back roads. After a bucket list stop for Bev, we headed west to Big Bend National Park to hike in Santa Elena Canyon. Heading out on our own with our hope in the clouds. And we're starting to see that we're on to something. Feel it coming. We'll keep running, nothing in our way And we got no reason to wait Let the journey take you where it wants to We'll continue to find our way through anything we face We got what it takes Here we go! All we need is an open road And a chance to see begin here we go and now on our own with our hope in the clouds we're starting to see that we're on to something feel it coming now here we go all we need is an open road and a chance to see a never-ending world that's beautiful here we go with the sunlight on our skin it's a brand new day it's ours to take and we will let it in this is where the adventure
adventure begins. We've traveled all the way across Texas and we're finally to Big Bend National Park. Oh, I love this park. It is a, a little bit wild. <laughs> uh, we're in the Santa Elena Canyon, which is a really cool canyon on the uh, Mexican border. And there's 1,500 foot sheer cliff walls on both sides of us. And we're sitting there waiting in about, I'd say, what, a foot of water. Very muddy water. Very muddy water. But it's it's a cool breeze and it's just, it's an awesome sight. You just have to pretend you're at the spa. Yes. <laughs> we're, is, we're getting spa treatment, baby. If you get a chance to come to Big Bend, definitely don't miss uh, Santa Elena Canyon. It's yeah, definitely worth it. Yeah, hike through the water. It feels so good. This canyon is so gorgeous. I wonder if it has echoes here. Hello! It does. It does. <laughs> I heard that. Somebody's saying hello to us. <laughs> and now, on our own with our hope in the clouds, we're starting to see that we're on to something. Feel it coming now. Well, it's our last day at Big Bend National Park, and we're heading up to the food truck next to our RV. Yeah, we're going to have a breakfast burrito with brisket barbecue in it. It is so good. <laughs> John's had this every single day. Yeah, and if I stayed here for a week, I think I would have it every <laughs> single day for a week. It's awesome. It is awesome. It's called the Little Dipper, the uh, food truck. It doesn't have a name on it, but it's turquoise. It's, and it's pretty awesome. It's one of the best food trucks we've ever been to. <laughs> yeah. And so we're about to head up to the Guadalupe Mountains in north northwest Texas. Yep. And then we're going to go to Carlsbad Caverns. Hello, we're back again. We would like two breakfast burritos, uh, one with chorizo and one with um, brisket. They're the best ever. What's your name? Belda. 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 Oh. Well, oh, you're a great, you're a great cook. I tell you thank that. You. We love your food truck. Thank we think you. it's the best we've had. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, she's cooking the burritos back there. She's got the tortillas on a grill. Oh, she's putting the chorizo and brisket on. Oh my goodness. Is this on our diet? What diet? Uh, that on, starts after, after we're, breakfast. We're on, a, uh, we're on a breakfast burrito diet. <laughs> a barbecue diet. Barbecue. We eat barbecue every day in Texas. <laughs> you have to, right? <laughs> But this was the best. This was the best we've had right here. Yeah. It was fantastic. She's mixing the uh, eggs with the chorizo. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. I don't know why I like these so much. We'll just skip lunch, what do you say? <laughs> why? <laughs> this is why? Why <laughs> skip lunch? Well this is this is breakfast and lunch. They're really filling. <laughs> I know because I've had them every day. <laughs> And you gave us some salsa. Fantastic. Yes, thank salsa. you very much. Thank you. Oh my goodness, it's hot. Okay, cheese, eggs, and brisket. Ooh. Hot. Homemade salsa with this barbecue brisket. Oh my goodness. You won't find better. Those brisket breakfast burritos were so good. <laughs> well, oh my goodness. You were the expert, you know. I, I am you the expert. So many of them. I, I am the expert. It's kind of my claim <laughs> to fame, and it's also the reason for five extra pounds. <laughs> That's true, but didn't you love Big Bend National Park? Big Bend National Park was one of my favorite it ones. It really was I, fabulous. I loved it. Yeah. And then after that, we headed north to the Guadalupe Mountains National Park, where we went hiking, and um, you guessed it, we <laughs> ate more barbecue. I've lost a step or two, and time shows on my face, but all the memories, the years could not erase.
here's the good news bad news trail what's that the bad news is the first half's all uphill but the good news is the second half is all downhill yay don't forget we almost forgot our first really big sponsor so here goes after traveling through texas for two weeks and eating barbecue every single meal a retirement traveler needs a little help from a friend Miralax. <laughs> Be sure to hit subscribe and follow along with us. We're heading to New Mexico, the land of enchantment.